Spiteful gesture. Only a few weeks had passed since Edward had taken his passenger train. It had been Edward's first day out in a long time. And almost all the engines had given Edward their full support. However, two did not. Gordon, in 98462, were quite displeased with Edward. 98462 was one of three engines brought by the fat director to the railway on trial. He didn't have a name, just a number. He and Gordon had a great deal in common. They were both rude and cocky. However, unlike Gordon, he never seemed to know when enough was enough. You finally managed to make it out of the station, cackled 98462 as Edward backed down into the sheds one night. Edward had just returned from his passenger run and was feeling quite proud. What a useless engine you are, Edward. I'm sure we'll be hearing plenty of complaints from the passengers tomorrow. You must have been running late all day. The others gave 98462 a foul look, but Edward just smiled. Actually, we were right on time. I'm very happy to be useful again, he chuckled. Edward knew that as long as he did not let 98462's words bother him, the engine wouldn't berate him for long. And soon enough, not getting any sort of reaction out of Edward, the big blue bully drifted off to sleep. As Edward was now working regularly on passenger trains, the fat director extended the timetable to run later into the evenings. This now meant Edward, Gordon, and 98462 would be running the passenger service all across the island. Edward had his doubts, but was determined to work his hardest. Fortunately for him, he ran the loop line, so only saw Gordon in 98462 at the big station. The weeks passed. Edward thought his trains were getting heavier and heavier, or he was getting older and older. The other engines had noticed this and offered to help. Ooh. <laughs> Ugh, no thank you, panted Edward. You have your own trains to manage. You can't upset the fat director's timetable. Little did Edward know, 98462 heard everything, and he made a plan. 